see a lot of people also think about this that i'm not capable of achieving this or they start to compare themselves with people around them or people who they consider more talented who they can consider um more hard working maybe and say that that person is capable of doing that i am not now i'm like no shit you are not capable of doing that if you were capable of doing that you would have done that right now right but that does not mean that you cannot do it see the capability part is something that has to be developed it is not something that you are born with you have to construct that whatever you want to achieve well if another human being can do it you can do it as well and a lot of times even if another human being cannot do it you still can do it a lot of things in this world has been done for the first time like imagine neil armstrong saying that hey nobody else has landed on the moon so probably i won't be able to do it <laughs> right so so the capability part these are very very simple concepts but i cannot explain how many times kids come to me and tell me that do you think i'll be able to crack this examination do you think i'll be able to start this company and make it successful do you think that i'll be able to get a phd you have to build that capability right so why are you asking questions why are you running away from building something because you're running away from hurdles because you're running away from those frustrated moments you're running away from failures these are all some things that we hate but we should not why would you hate these things because because ultimately these things are going to make you capable of what you want to do simple as that so you have to move forward accept the challenges every time you want to quit remember that this is why most people cannot do it and keep on moving forward in that direction to build that capability that is what like a lot of people uh talk about these like i was born with this talent or 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 I, i am the second generation this my father was good in that so i'm naturally good in that it does not really work like that there's nothing that you're born with we grow up with a lot of stuff and our environment do influence us to be better in some things and uh less good at others but ultimately if our environment has made us who we are right now that means that we are very flexible and we can change and we can grow and learn anything that we want like if i can throw ton- tornado kicks today and and i can do taekwondo kicks today it's not like i was born with the talent to do that i did the drills so i can do that right now so the only thing that you have to understand is that human body and brain is very adaptive it is very malleable it can learn whatever you throw at it if you're having a sound mind that is going to happen whatever you want to do whatever you want to learn it can learn you know human genetics first found in the the equatorial region africa and uh, then it somehow found out way to survive in coldest places like norway think about how adaptive human beings are the only thing is that you can learn anything but the problem is that when you try to learn anything there are like restrictions resistances and uh, most people do not want to pass that barrier the change so if you want to learn anything you will have to change right you change from a person who did not know how to throw tornado kicks and became a person who now can throw tornado kicks so you changed as a person but this change comes with enormous amount of resistance and that is what i mostly talk about the inertia of life that this world this universe does not like you to change it wants you to be where you are think of it like you are a puzzle piece and you move from that that place is vacant now who is going to replace you now so the inherent nature of the universe wants you to be where you are be like where you are if you are an introvert want you to stay as an introvert if you are physically weak want you to stay physically weak if you are born uh with with like um, a a person who is born with let us say mesomorphic genetics wants that person to be like that but at the same time this is this is the fun part about life in general 
that you can be whoever you want to be is just that it it causes a lot of restriction along the way so that possibility is something uh that is fun right right now you can think about okay i want to be this kind of person and nobody in this world can say you impossible like a lot of people will even say that but nobody will say oh here's a 2 million contract and and i can say for sure you can never do that nobody will be able to do that because you have seen like obese people turning into guys with those ripped abs right i take the example of Do- david goggins look at the abs of that man right now <laughs> and look at his pictures from like i think 20 years in the past or something you'll understand what a person can achieve but for sure this is what he's going to say as well he has said this multiple times that there's an enormous amount of resistance to change and that resistance we have to at some point or the other learn to embrace nobody likes it nobody likes to eat shit nobody likes those uh, uh, bitter medicines but it's part of the process and like uh, because of these ups and downs you because of these downs you like those ups so much more so you will have to accept and embrace the difficulties and hurdles along the way my god did i talk about it for way too long what was the point originally i don't even remember like i said and that's the beauty of art podcast